My name is Tamara T. I am your Amazon FBA BFF. In this video, we will be doing part two, talking about how I was able to spend only $279 for my first winning Amazon FBA product. Now, if you have not watched part one, I suggest you to go back to watch that video first because I break down for you my story and how I made this possible. Most importantly, how you can do this as well. Hello YouTube friends, this video was highly requested after I did part one last year on my YouTube channel. So again, if you have not watched part one, please do so first. Today will be part two. I want to dive deeper into how I only spent $279 for my first winning product on Amazon FBA and how you can do the same. And anyone can do this because it's so cheap. So the first thing you want to do is go to aliexpress.com and go to the search bar. Type in any product that comes to mind that is cheap. Now recently, my baby boys have passed six months and they are starting to put their hands in their mouths. So I went to buy baby no scratch mittens. So this product prevents them from uh, shoving the, her hands in their mouths like this baby right here. So what you want to do is randomly think of any product that you would like to sell that is cheap. Now, obviously you guys can tell apart cheap products versus expensive products. I mean, nobody's going to be selling computer chairs or mattresses or couches because that's big and expensive, right? So you want to find a product that is cheap, light, small, and high in demand. And this product came to mind first, so we are just going to use this and roll with it. Now, I did some previous research before I filmed this YouTube video, so I have an idea on how much this product will cost me to source. Now we are not paying attention to prices on aliexpress.com. Aliexpress prices will always be higher than alibaba.com because people go on Aliexpress to buy a few units right? On alibaba.com, that's where people go here and they buy hundreds of units. So when you are selling your product on Amazon, you want to buy from alibaba.com. Okay, so I have my product on aliexpress.com. I can see that it's available. So we want to see the different types of baby no scratch mittens on AliExpress because this will tell us the variety that alibaba.com may have. So everything that is being sold on aliexpress.com should also be sold on alibaba.com. So I'm just going to type in baby no scratch mittens and here is where I can find the price for each unit that I will buy from alibaba.com. If you guys are new to selling on Amazon FBA, you are a beginner, you and I have never worked together before, then I recommend you to get my free Amazon training in the YouTube description below. Click on the free training link, enter your name, enter your email address, watch the training to the end because I teach you step-by-step step how to find winning products like this that will make you money every single month. And the best part is it does not cost a lot to start. At the end of the training, you can book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with my team and we will walk you through beginning to end how to become successful selling on Amazon. Now getting back to alibaba.com, the first page, these are all of the baby no scratch mittens. Now, sometimes the algorithm may pick up some other random products, just ignore it, but this is where the price is. Now, also, you want to ignore shipping because we are going to uh, contact the supplier. Well, you will contact the supplier and negotiate the price down and also tell them the customization along with giving them your logo that you want to put on your product. So ignore the shipping price. It is not included and you will be talking to them about negotiating on the final price. Now, the price here is just an estimate. It's not finalized but I can tell right away that each of these mittens are like 48 cents, 50 cents, some are a dollar. 
um, somewhere 30 cents. So I'm just going to take the average and I'm going to source one of these mittens for about $1. I think we can all agree that on average, it's going to cost about a dollar to source this product including shipping and including customization. Now, how do I know this? Well, because of my experience selling on Amazon, I can almost guess that I am correct. I've done a lot of product research in my Amazon journey, so I just know. Now, here is where the fun part is. So a lot of other YouTubers will tell you and teach you how to source these products, but what nobody talks about is affordability. Now, if I cannot afford this product, I'm not going to move on to the next steps. The biggest mistakes that Amazon sellers make is that they go to the second step, the third step, and they go all the way down to searching for differentiation and trademarks before they can even afford the product. So if I take out my calculator, my first winning product that I talked to you guys about in part one is it only costs 93 cents to source. And then I bought 300 units to start. Now, do I recommend you to start with 300 units today? No, I actually recommend you to start with at least 500 units. So if my baby mitten was about a dollar or less and I buy 500 units to start, I'm only spending about 500 bucks. And again, this includes customization, it includes shipping because shipping is so cheap because these mints are so small, so light, you don't have to do much customization to it, I'm only spending about $500 to start. Now, I'm sure everyone here has $500. If you don't, then you cannot start an Amazon FBA business. You do need some cash, okay? So this is how I got started. I found a product from Alibaba when I was randomly browsing. I went to alibaba.com to see if I can even afford it. I did the math. And I was like, yes, I can afford it. It was $279 total to start. And that's all I paid. And then I listed it up on Amazon. And then people started buying my product because it was unique. And it was a product that people actually wanted. So this is the second step. Asking yourself, can I even afford this product? If it's yes, let's move on. So the next thing you want to do is check for the demand of your product. Now, I was already doing some research that's why uh, there are some keywords that already popped up here. So I typed in the keyword baby mittens. By the way, this is helium 10 magnet. So if you go to tools and then you go to keyword research magnet, you will end up on this page right here. Every Amazon FBA seller needs helium 10 to run their business. If you want to get 20% off helium 10, then I suggest you by using my coupon code right here. I will also link this in the YouTube description below. Just click on the link and then you will get 20% off for six months for using Helium 10. So I typed in baby mittens and notice I went a little more broad. So I was looking at baby no scratch mittens, but this is a little specific. When I'm using magnet, I want to go a little more broad because I want to look at all of the keywords that customers may be searching to find my product. So I want to look at the demand. Scrolling down, I sorted the search volume from big to small. And as you can see, for some of these keywords, people are searching it a lot per month. So the first keyword that I see here that people may be searching to find my baby no scratch mittens is baby teether, but this is not too specific, right? So let's go down a little, there's teether, um, there's pain relief, baby pacifier. These keywords are pretty broad. So teething, that's broad, baby teething, it's getting a little better. You see, this is not like a baby teething type of product per se, but the good news is that there are tons of people under search volume here that is searching for all types of baby products. So this tells me that, for example, the keyword teething has over 11,000 searches per month, which is a lot of people. Now, if you run into this problem where you just cannot find any specific types of keywords related to the product that you are looking to sell, then just open up Cerebro and then go to amazon.com, type in baby no scratch mittens, choose a top seller and then put their ASIN into Cerebro. So just hang on, let me show you guys how this works. So I'm just going to... Uh, use this one actually. 
copy this ASIN right here by clicking on this little button and make sure you guys have your Helium 10 Chrome extension installed. Again, if you want 20% off, the code is right here for you to take advantage of that. Without the Helium 10 Chrome extension, I cannot see all the data up here. So I'm going to copy this seller's ASIN because I can tell that this is a top seller. They have Amazon's choice. And wow, look at those reviews. Okay, so going to Cerebro, we are going to punch in that ASIN and click on Get Keywords. Now I'm taking this step because I cannot find many specific keywords related to a baby no scratch mitten. I want to look at my competitor to see what keywords they are using. And then I can tell whether or not my product can have demand. So going down here, go to search volume, big to small. And in case you guys are new to Helium 10, again, uh, just go to tools and then go to Cerebro under keyword research and then you will end up on Cerebro. So for this seller, if I go all the way to the right hand side, I can look at their organic rank. So this tells me that their baby mittens, their uh, baby no scratch mittens is position 39 for this keyword, baby registry search. And then all of these are positioned for their organic rank as well. So uh, they are ranked number 13 for baby mittens. There you go. And for baby mittens, they have 47,000 searches per month. This tells me that a lot of parents are searching for baby mittens. Therefore, there is demand. And when a product has demand, that is a good sign. That gives you the green light to move on to the next step. So this is the third step, you guys. It's Magnet and Cerebro. You want to look at search volume for your product that you plan to sell and just make sure that there is a good enough of demand for your product. Now, if you still cannot find a specific keyword related to your product, then I would just choose a more broad keyword just to check for demand. We just want to see if someone is searching for the product, right? Now the last step, the last step here is to check out how much profit I can possibly make by selling this product. Because again, I'm not going to move on with this product research and figure out trademarks, differentiation and contact suppliers. I'm not going to waste my time and do any of that if I am not happy with the profit. So this will save you guys so much time. Now, if I take out my Helium 10 Chrome extension on the very first page, Let's check out how much the top sellers are selling their product for, and then I can tell you how to figure out the uh, profits. So sort the revenue from big to small. And this does not look like a baby mitten. This was placed here incorrectly, so I'm just going to trash that. And it looks like our top seller is making over $40,000 in revenue per month, and then we have um, someone else here, $38,000 a month. You always want to look at the top sellers. Uh, this is incorrectly placed. And you just want to make sure that the sellers here are selling baby no scratch mittens. So I'm going to look at the top few sellers and I'm just going to find the average and then use that seller as an example to find profit. So it looks like this one's kind of like in the middle here, $26,000 per month in revenue. I'm just going to click on their product listing. Now I want to compete with the top sellers, correct? I want to be up here. So I, that's why I took like the average of the top sellers to get an idea how much money they're making. Now, if I click on my extension, go to Amazon product research, they are selling some variations as well, but this tells me that they're making anywhere from $26,000 a month all the way to like $23,000 a month. Now, what is the profit? So I just want to click on this, Helium 10 Chrome extension again, go to profitability calculator. Helium 10 is estimating how much profit they are making for every single unit. So the profit margin is 34%. And for every single unit sold, they are making about just under $4 per unit. Now, is this an amazing profit margin? For me, I will say yes, this is a good profit margin because any product that has a profit margin of over 30% means that it's good. Like you will bring home some money and that's what we want. However, our net profit is a little on the lower side. So I'm making about $3.80 per unit. Ideally, you want to make at least five bucks. 
But just because I make $3.80 profit, does that mean I should scratch this product and forget about it just because I am not making that $5 in net profit? No, what you should be doing now that every step checks out and you are happy with the results and you want to move further along in your product research, you can now move on to differentiating your product, making it better, adding more value, bringing that up with your supplier, talking to them about what you want changed, and then you guys, you can list your product for a higher price. So instead of $10.99, you may list it for $12.99 and then boom, now you are at $5.50 per unit. So you want to get all of this information from your supplier, like how much it weighs, what the dimension is, etc. And you want to be happy with the profit margin and the net profit. If you are not happy with it, then maybe you can customize your product in a way where it adds more value so you can list it for a little higher. You cannot list this for too much higher. Like for example, I'm not going to list this product for $20.99 because no one's going to buy it, right? You should always list the price of your product for what your competitors are selling it at. So it looks like the highest price is about $19.99, $18.70 here. So you may can get away with a higher price point, but there needs to be value differentiation and your product has to be better. Let's review all of the steps because I know that this may be overwhelming for new sellers. So first, we are going to AliExpress and looking for products that are cheap. Any product that is cheap that comes to mind and just browsing and seeing if it's a product that we want to sell. Step two is typing in that product into Alibaba.com and finding out the average price for your product and doing the math and making sure that you can afford it. Because again, if you cannot afford a product, why are we moving forward? It makes no sense and we are wasting time. So affordability. Once we are happy with how much the product costs and we can afford it, we are now going to check for demand using Magnet and Cerebro and Helium 10 by looking at the search volume for the most specific keywords for our product. And if you cannot find a specific keyword, then just take a broad keyword, but just make sure that you check on page one by clicking on the arrows right here to make sure that um, your product is on the first page because sometimes for broad keywords, your product may still be listed and that is a good sign. And you can tell that customers are actually searching for that product from that broad keyword. And finally, figuring out profitability and seeing if you are happy with the profits. So taking the best seller from the product that you want to sell, doing some research, plugging in numbers here to see if you have that nice profit margin and that beautiful net profit. Again, if you guys are new to selling on Amazon and you need help with finding winning products, then make sure you get my free training in the YouTube description below. Click on the free training link, enter your name, enter your email address, watch my training to the end because you will be able to apply for a one-on-one -on -one free consultation with my team and we can break down the entire process for you, how to find profitable products to sell on Amazon that will make you money. If you have any questions or comments, then make sure you drop it in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video.